Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyal Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the solution and discussion on Gate Questions in Mechanical Engineering. This is lecture number 51. The topic is Fluid Dynamics. So, we will take few questions in the topic Fluid Dynamics and we will discuss the answers. The first question from 1993 question paper. Shown below are the three tanks. Tank 1 without an orifice tube and tank 2 and 3 with the orifice tube as shown. So, this is the tank 1. There is no orifice. Tank 2, we have some orifice of length L. Neglecting losses and assuming diameter of the orifice to be much lesser, much less than that of the tank, write the expression for the exit velocity in each of the three tanks. So, the diameter of the orifice is very, very small. Comparing with the diameter of the tank, we have to write the velocity equation at the outlet of the tank. So, the exit velocity, so velocity at the hole, first tank, it is square root of 2 gh. So, h is the height of head of water, velocity equal to square root of 2 gh. The second tank, there is a pipe of length L, now velocity here at the outlet of the pipe equal to h is constant head. So, v equal to square root of 2 g into h plus L. L is the length of the tube and h is the head of the water in the tank. The third tube, there is some small projection inside the tank, but it is not affecting the velocity. So, because the velocity depends on the total height. So, this is v equal to again square root of 2 g into h plus L. So, the projection inside the tank does not affect the velocity of the water at the outlet of the pipe. The next question from 1998 question paper, the discharge velocity of the pipe at the exit in the figure. So, this is the figure. We have a tank here. So, there is a pipeline uh, for from kind of starting from the bottom of the tank and it is going up to the outlet. So, this is the outlet. The, so, for a this is the head of water available. The capital H is the height from the center of the pipeline at the bottom to the top of the water level and the small h is the center of the pipeline at the discharge side of the pipeline and uh, this is the head of water, the top surface of the water. Now, the head for the outlet of the pipeline, the head available is only small h. So, though the from the center of the pipeline at the inlet of the pipeline, the head is capital H. So, here the head, this is the head available for the discharge. So, the velocity of the pipe, velocity of the water at the outlet of the pipe is equal to square root of 2 gh. This is the answer to the question. Next question, water flows through a vertical contraction from, from the pipe of diameter d and another diameter d by 2. So, this is the vertical pipe, this is the vertical contraction, this is the diameter pipe d by 2 and this is the diameter of the pipe d. The contraction height is 2 meter, the flow velocity at the inlet of the contraction is 2 meters per second. So, this is the inlet of the contraction is 2 meters per second. So, here it is 2 meters per second and pressure is 200, 200 kilometer per meter square. If the height of the contraction is 2 meter, then the pressure at the exit of the contraction. So, here what is the pressure? So, there are 4 options here. So, the correct option is 150 kilonewtons per meter square. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, this is the direction of the flow. Diameter before contraction is d. Diameter after contraction is d by 2. Now, velocity v1 and v2 using the continuity equation a1 v1 equal to a2 v2. So, a2 v2 equal to a1 v1 divided by a2. So, a1 uh, this is by pi by 4 d1 square d square and pi by 4 d by 2 square. So, d square by d square v1 divided by d by 2 whole square. So, simplifying v2, substituting for v1, it is v2 equal to 4 times of 2 equal to 8 meters per second. So, velocity here at the outlet of the contraction is 8 meters per second. From the Bernoulli's equation, p1 by specific weight plus v1 square by 2g plus z1 plus p2 by specific weight plus v2 square by 2g plus z1 plus hl. hl is the loss of head, it is neglected. Now, p1 by rho g plus v1 square by 2g equal to p2 by rho g plus v2 square by 2g. So, substituting for all the parameter, p1 is 200 kilonewton, 200 into 1000 divided by 9810 plus 2 square by 2 into 9.81 equal to p2 by 9810 plus 8 square by 2 into 9.81 calculating p2 equal to 150 kilonewtons per meter square. That is the answer to the question. 
Next question from 2003 question paper. A water container is kept on a weighing balance. Water from the tap falling vertically into the container with the volume flow rate of Q. Velocity of the water when it hits the water surface is U. At the particular instant of time, the total mass of the container and the water is total mass of the container and the water is M. The force registered by the weighing balance at this instant of time equal to we have four options here again. So, force registered by the weighing balance equal to weight of water in the container plus force exerted by striking the water. So, weight of the water in the container equal to m into g. m is the mass of the water into g is the acceleration due to gravity and the force exerted by the water equal to rho a into u square. So, rho is the density of water, a is the area and uh, u square is the velocity. Now, we modify the equation mg into rho q into u because a into u equal to discharge. So, a into u equal to discharge. So, 1 u is taken and combined with the a. So, rho q into u. So, the option a is the correct answer. mg into mg plus rho q into u is the correct answer. That is a force registered by the weighing balance. The next question from 2003 question paper. Air flows through a venturi into atmosphere. The air density is rho, atmospheric pressure is Pa, throat diameter is dt, exit diameter is capital D and the exit velocity is u. The throat is connected to a cylinder containing frictionless piston attached to the spring. So, this is the arrangement. The spring constant is k. The bottom surface of the piston exposed to the atmosphere. Due to the flow, the piston moves at a distance x. Assuming incompressible frictionless flow, then x, the distance moved by the uh, piston in the cylinder is given by the four equations. There are four options given here. The correct answer is rho u square by 8k d power 4 divided by dt to the power 4 minus 1 into pi ds square. So, ds is the diameter of the uh, piston cylinder or cylinder and d, d, d capital D is the outlet diameter of the venturi, dt is the throat diameter, k is the spring constant, u is the velocity at the outlet. So, we will see how in the how the answer is arrived. From the continuity equation from the between the throat and the exit, a t u t equal to a into u. So, pi by 4 d t square u t equal to pi by 4 d square u. So, u t equal to d by d t whole square by into u. Now, Bernal's equation between the throat and the exit. So, p t by rho g plus u t square by 2 g plus z t equal to p by rho g plus u square by 2 g plus z. So, p t by rho g plus u t square by 2g, it is horizontal, z t equal to z, so p by rho g plus u square by 2g. Now, p t by p minus by rho g equal to u square minus u t square by 2g, so p t minus p, the pressure difference between the throat and the exit, which is equal to p rho by 2 into u square minus u t square. This is equal to rho by 2 into u square, substituting for u t square, this is d by d t whole power 4 into u square which is equal to rho u square divided by 2 into 1 minus d by dt to the power 4. The spring stiffness equal to force on the spring divided by deflection. So, deflection x equal to the force on the spring. This force on the spring equal to the pressure difference multiplied by the area. So, the pressure difference equal to rho u square by 2 into 1 minus d by dt whole power 4 into area of the piston, spring piston divided by k. <coughs> Now, area of the spring piston x equal to rho u square by 2k into 1 minus d by dt, d by dt whole power 4 into pi by 4 ds square. So, x equal to rho u square by 8k into 1 minus d by dt to the power 4 into pi ds square. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2005 question paper. A U-tube manometer with a small quantity of mercury is used to measure the static pressure difference between the two locations A and B in a conical section through which the incompressible fluid is flows, fluid flows. At a particular flow rate, mercury column appears as shown in the figure. The density of the mercury is 13,600 kilogram per meter cube and the G equal to 9.81 meter by second square. Which of the following is correct? There are four options given here. The flow direction is A to B and the P A minus P B equal to 20 kilo Pascal. Flow direction is B to A and the P A minus P B equal to 1.4 kilo Pascal. Flow direction is A to B, P B minus P A equal to 20 kilo Pascal. 
flow direction is b to a and pb minus pa equal to 1.4 kilo pascal so the correct answer is flow direction is a to b and pa minus pb equal to 20 kilo pascal so we will see how in the next slide the density of mercury so this is the direction this is the diagram density of mercury is 13600 kg per meter cube g acceleration due to gravity 9.81 meter per second square the pressure difference between a and b pa minus pb equal to rho g h so which is 13600 into 9.81 to 0.15 20.01 kilo pascal so the pressure is increasing from a to b so the flow direction is a to b and the pressure difference is 20.20 kilo pascal that is the answer to the question next question from 2009 question paper consider steady incompressible and irrotational flow through a reducer in a horizontal pipe where the diameter is reduced from 20 cm to 10 cm the pressure in the 20 cm pipe just upstream of the reducer is 150 kilo pascal the fluid has vapor pressure of 50 kilo pascal and a specific weight of 5 kilo kilo newton per meter cube neglecting frictional effect the maximum discharge that can be that can through the reducer that can through the reducer without causing cavitation is we have four options here so the correct option is 0 0.16 meter cube per second the discharge maximum discharge equal to 0 0.16 meter cube per second so we'll see how in the next slide so this is the pipe uh, contraction diameter d1 equal to 0 0.2 meter d2 equal to 0 0.1 meter pressure p1 equal to 150 kilo pascal p2 equal to 50 kilo pascal rho g specific weight equal to 5 kilo newton per meter square so velocity v1 and v2 from the continuity equation a1 v1 equal to a2 v2 substituting v2 equal to a1 by a2 into v1 d1 square by d2 square into v1 so 0 0.2 square divided by 0 0.1 square into v1 equal to 4 times of v1 so v2 equal to 4 times of v1 from the Bernoulli's equation neglecting the losses p1 by rho g minus p2 by rho g equal to p v1 v2 square by 2g minus v1 square by 2g substituting the numerical values 150 minus 50 divided by 5 for rho g equal to 5 equal to 4 v1 square minus v1 square divided by 2 into 9.81 so calculating velocity v1 equal to 5.11 meters per second that is the answer to the question and discharge equal to a1 v1 so q equal to 0 0.0314 area equal to calculating area uh, using pi by 4 d1 square so this is 0 0.0314 into 5.1 equal to 0 0.16 meter cube per second so velocity is 5.11 meters per second and discharge equal to 0 0.16 meter cube per second we stop here so these are all the books i have written in mechanical engineering subject you may refer to the fluid mechanics and machinery book for the theoretical part of the fluid dynamics and I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, use the videos for a better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again in another video lecture for the solution of gate question paper in fluid dynamics. Until then, bye.